As I have educated myself on tire pressure monitoring systems, TPMS, a stubborn idea is stuck in the back of my head. Why doesn't the system monitor spare tire pressure as well as the four mounted tires? It seems to me that this is just as important since most of us neglect to check the spare tire until we need it, i.e. when we are on the side of the road with a flat tire. I can think of few more frustrating things than assuming you have a healthy spare tire only to find out it is flat just when you need it. So if there was a good application for this system, which is already in place, I would think adding the spare tire to the monitoring system in the car would be it. But car manufacturers don't do this, or at least not on my three Toyotas. All three of my cars have the TPMS system, but none of them include the spare tire. Why is this? And can I add the spare tire to the system simply by adding a TPMS sensor to the spare tire? After investigating this system extensively and conducting a lot of experimentation, I can tell you two things. First, I believe that manufacturers neglect to add this feature to save on cost. In fact, many cars today don't even come with a spare tire. Also, if your car does not have a spare tire sensor already, then no, you can't just add the sensor to the tire. If the ECU computer was not equipped to monitor the spare tire, then you are missing some critical components, namely a receiver in the trunk that would pick up the signal from a spare tire sensor. As you know, if you have ever taken a look at your spare tire, it's not nearly as easy to check as the four mounted tires, since it's under a cover in the trunk or underneath the car, and is usually secured upside down, so you have to actually remove it from the car to get to the valve to check it. Spare tires usually require a much higher inflation Spare pressure. All three of mine require 60 PSI instead of the normal 35 to 40. This pressure must be maintained if the tire is going to do you any good in the event of a flat. Unfortunately, the spare tire loses that higher pressure much quicker than your other tires. For example, every time I have tested one of my spare tire pressures before a long trip, I have discovered they were very low, sometimes as much as 40 pounds under pressure. Not good. Wouldn't it be nice if there was an easy aftermarket solution to this? Well, there is. Let's find out about it. I found a product on eBay which works quite well. It's simply called Car TPMS Bluetooth 5.0 Tire Pressure Monitoring System, and I picked up mine for under 40 bucks. It comes with four sensors, so you can use it to monitor up to four spare tires. To use it, download the app onto your smartphone, follow the setup steps to activate one or more sensors, then remove your spare tire, top it up to the recommended pressure, install the sensor on the tire valve, and replace the spare. Done. Now the app should show that sensor on the screen with the current pressure. I have no trouble receiving the Bluetooth signal from inside my house from the driveway. The app shows all four sensors on one car, but they don't have to be. For example, the driver front in the app is my Prius spare. Just make a note of which sensor is which and you're all set. Since Left this system is, is set up for high. normal mounted tires and Left not high pressure tire. spares, you'll need to adjust some settings. I adjusted the upper limit warning to be about 76 and the lower warning limit to be about 36. I also had to set the pressure unit to PSI and the temperature unit to Fahrenheit. To test, I removed the sensor, dropped the pressure in the tire to about 20 PSI, put the sensor back on, and checked to see that I got a warning. Front anyway, I think this is, is a great long. solution to the feature that car left manufacturers tire have left out. Is too low. I hope you find this useful. See you in the next left video. Front tire pressure is too low.